greet you this morning in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Leeward Island District devotional for today. Leading this morning's devotion, Brother Neville Wade, accredited local preacher in the Methodist Church, Sister Chris Ambo Wallace, Congregational Steward, and myself, Jean Ronald Charles, Minister serving in the Dominica Circuit. Today is the last Saturday in our mission month. We continue to reflect on the theme, Go and Tell. And our sub theme for today, the good news of salvation. Let us sing the hymn, Let All of the World in Every Corner Sing. After the singing of the hymn, Brother Neville Wade will lead us in prayer. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look up in his wonderful way, good morning Lord, Lord Jesus smile on us today, whilst we think, whilst we work, whilst we play, and whilst we pray. Romans chapter 5 tells us that whilst we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, he died for the ungodly. What a wonder. So dear God, this morning, we give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. For you, please cause us, Lord, to go and tell, to tell others of all the great things that you have done for us, that we don't keep these things for ourselves. The glory and the honor is yours, O God. The great work you have done even when we were revolting against you and against your grace. Strengthen us, therefore, Lord, to be able to stand fast and tell others about you, to spread your gospel, to spread your holy name. For in these difficult times in which we live, Lord God, men shook. When we are on the mountain, we speak and we speak aloud, but soon we get in the valley and no one hears us. So keep us, Lord, concentrated on you. And may we know and love and serve and tell us about tell others about you. Not only this morning, but at all times. Let your grace be seen in us, through us, and let us just glorify your name this morning and always. For Christ's sake. Amen. The reading for this morning comes from the gospel according to Luke chapter 19, reading from verse 1 to 10. Glory to you, O God. He entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. 
He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not, because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him, because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give it to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. The Gospel of Christ. Praise be to Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Sisters and brothers, family in Christ, we are now at the end of the mission month. Since Monday, we have been reflecting on the theme, Go and Tell. Our sub-theme for today the good news of salvation. Go and tell the good news of salvation. After three years of practical training at the feet of Jesus, before he ascended into heaven, he sent his disciples into the world to proclaim the good news to all. Today, Jesus continues to call men and women and he sends them out into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation. Go and tell. It is important to note that we do not only find the, the verb to go in the Great Commission, but go and tell are two great verbs set in the midst of the first announcement of the resurrection of Jesus. In the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 28, verse 10, the resurrected Jesus said to the first witnesses of his resurrection, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers and sisters to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Sisters and brothers, the compelling necessity to go and tell is inherent in the good news itself. We are sent by God to proclaim the good news of salvation. The good news that Christ, the only begotten Son of God, came into the world to seek out and to save the lost. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. The story of Jesus and Zacchaeus ends with this great declaration. The Son of Man came to seek out and to save the loss. Loss in this verse means those in the wrong place. And we must understand that. We usually say a thing is loss when it has got out of its own place into the wrong place. And when we find such a thing, we return it to the place it ought to occupy. A man, a woman is lost when he or she has wandered away from God. Someone who has wandered away from God needs to return to the shepherd of the sheep. He or she is found when once again the person takes his or her rightful place as an obedient child in the household of God. 
this morning's passage tells us that Zacchaeus was a wealthy chief tax collector, but he was not a happy man. Inevitably, he was lonely, for he had chosen a way that made him an outcast. He had heard of this Jesus who welcomed even tax collectors and sinners. Zacchaeus heard how the lives of sinners who encountered Jesus were being changed. He had never seen Jesus, and when the news came that Jesus was to pass through Jericho, he determined that he would try to see this wonderful man. He was determined to see Jesus and would let nothing stop him. He wondered if Jesus would have any word for him. He wanted to see who Jesus was, this man who could understand him and accept him even if he was despised by others. As Jesus was coming to Jericho, for Zacchaeus, it was an opportunity not to be missed. Things were not easy for him, but he had the courage to find a strategy that will allow him to see Jesus. The short man ran on ahead and climbed a sycamore tree. Jesus knew that the chief tax collector was on the tree. In verse, say, verse 5 of our text, when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. How surprised Zacchaeus was to hear these words. He had hoped to catch at least a glimpse of Jesus. Now he could take this wonderful man into his home and talk face to face with him. Zacchaeus led the way to his home to entertain Jesus and his disciples there. The Greek question was, among all the priests at the temple, among all the respected citizens, who was Zacchaeus to provide the hospitality he must have yearned to offer? And as Jesus decided to visit him, there was a low grumbling back and forth through the whole crowd. They were saying among themselves, he, he has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. For some, it was not a wise decision for the master to stop in the home of a publican, whom they call a sinful man. Maybe they did not remember why Jesus came into this world. He came to seek out and to save the lost. He came to die and save sinners. When Zacchaeus discovered that he had found a new friend, immediately he took a decision. He decided to give half of his goods to the poor. The other half he did not intend to keep to himself but to use to make restitution for the foods of which he had been self-confessedly guilty. Zacchaeus showed by his deeds that he was a different person. He took steps to show all community that he was a changed man after his wonderful encounter with Jesus. Second Corinthians 5.17 if anyone's in Christ, there's a new creation. Although Zacchaeus was a publican, his heart had been changed by the action of Jesus. Jesus knew this publican really had been changed in his heart. Jesus had known about Zacchaeus, who longed to see him, and he had sought for Zacchaeus. Now, he will grant him forgiveness because Zacchaeus had received him gladly and had confessed his willingness to make his wrongs right. Jesus demands a change of life for all those who have a personal encounter with him. For Zacchaeus, it was a moment that made all the difference in the world. In this mission month, 
Let us go to the people in our communities, our workplaces, and let them know that Jesus offers salvation to all. The song says, whosoever here may come. My task, your task is to spread the good news all around. Go forth and tell God's love embraces all. And he will in grace respond to all who call. Sisters and brothers, friends in Christ, we know today there are many around us who need Jesus. We sing in our worship services, I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will go to them to encourage them to develop a relationship with Jesus. We must go to our friends and our neighbors and tell them that Jesus comes for one. He comes for all. He wants all to be saved. And Jesus is calling men and women to come to him. The theme for this week challenges us Christians to leave our comfort zones and go to the street corners, to the bus stop, to the supermarkets, to the stadium, and tell the people we meet in these places that the Lord is patient with them, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. Go and tell. Amen. Receive the benediction with faith in God the Father, Jesus Christ, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go forth to proclaim the good news that Christ came into the world to seek out and to save the lost. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and always. Amen. Amen.